Good morning, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Florida Mountain Channel. I have received a mystery package. I call it a mystery package because nobody told me they were sending me anything. So I was completely not prepared for this, as you can tell by my fresh shave. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and crack this open. This big old envelope has something very tiny in it. It's, it's right down here in the bottom corner. And it's one of my nemesis envelopes, so we're going to see if we can get this bad boy open on the first try. Probably not, because I never can. Let's see. Ah, oh, first try. I do see a note in here, so let me start with the note. Actually, let me start with this. How's everybody doing? How you holding up? Did you get your Trump money yet? And what'd you spend it on? Let me know. So, ow. okay. So, let's see them purty lips from Steve. Who's Steve? Okay, Steve, let's see them purty lips. What do we got? <laughs> Steve has apparently not watched my, my full makeover video yet because Steve sent me a beautiful wet and wild lipstick. This is the color of it looks like 1980s video Vixen Red. Ooh, it's called Blind Date. Because we can't just call crap red or burgundy or as my ex-wife used to love, Raisin. No, now it's gotta have funky names. So let's, let's see what we have here. This is, it is still sealed. So, so that's a good thing. I'm not gonna, not gonna get any weird cooties off of this from somebody else's lipstick. Thank you, Steve. I'm glad you think my lips are pretty. <laughs> I, uh, not exactly positive how to put this on, but it is, it is tipped, as, as you can see. For those of you not familiar with lipstick, i.e. The, the men that watch this channel, it's got this beautiful wedge on it right here, which comes to a point at the top, which I'm assuming allows you to get a little bit better definition. I don't know if I need to twist this all the way up. I feel as though if I twist it all the way up, I'm gonna snap it off. But it, I'm not sure. Let me consult the wife. Do I twist it all the way up? No, she says no, don't twist it all the way up. Okay, any tips or suggestions? Should I wet my lips first? I mean, it's called wet and wild. Do I need a, 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 a blotter thing or what do I do here? Why you, why you got the squirt bottle after me? Don't make me turn this camera around. <laughs> don't make me turn this camera around. You see what it did there? All right, well, Steve, I appreciate you. I'm, I'm, I'm you, you see, I'm stalling. I'm very much stalling because I'm not exactly sure. Well, screw it. I've got a, I've got a mirror right here, so. Oh, this is gonna look great with the mustache. It's gonna look wonderful, wonderful with the mustache, my love. Let's see, get that right where I think I need it. I, I, I think that should work, just the tip. Do I need just the tip? Yeah, I need just the tip. Oh, that's, what that's what she said, just the tip. God, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, that's so red. Oh, yeah, got a little extra. Extra! Well, that's not too... I was expecting a little more. Ah, there we go. Oh, damn. It's so rad. Hmm. Let me cap that real quick so I don't mess it up. Now, let's... Mm. <gasps> Thank you, Steve. 
All right, y'all, this will go be quick today. But uh, You know those flushable wipes that you can buy in the toilet paper aisle at pretty much any big box retailer? They work wonderful at taking off makeup, apparently, or at least lipstick. So that's exciting. So I don't have to go the rest of the day with ruby red lips, no hair, blue eyes. Someone's about to kiss their heart goodbye. And if you don't know what I'm referencing, it's a, woo, yes, the sun is bright. It's a country song from the late 90s, early 2000s. But on a side note, yesterday was a productive day as I got my chicken's house built. And as you can see, the chickens are in it. Let's go join the chickens. And try not to send them into full-blown panic mode. But I'd like to introduce y'all to my, to my flock, at least. Let me see, let me pull this. Nope, that needs to stare. Ow, dang, the wife was right. I definitely need a latch on the inside so that I can latch it. When... Man, I'm bleeding. That wire poked me. All right, y'all, here we go. There's my babies. There's my babies. Oh yeah, I got 13 of these little cheap, cheap cheapers in here. Including one that I'm amazed survived right back there in the corner, the little bitty one. That one has a weird beak. The bottom of the beak grows all the way over to the left side. And these are my babies. Yeah, run! These are gonna be my egg makers. And Florida Mountain's gonna be living high on the egg hog. Bye y'all, be happy. <clears throat> so yeah. If you ever thought about how many eggs you eat, think about where they come from, and just realize that backyard chickens, not that difficult. Get you some, some two by fours, some outdoor use two by fours, build you a pen. This is a uh, half inch hardware cloth because the raccoons at ground level can tear the crap out of standard chicken wire, the stuff right here. So what I did was a hardware cloth that is four foot hardware cloth. And then there's one piece here and then it connects right here with zip ties and overlaps. And then it goes down and I buried it into the ground. So anything that tries to dig down is gonna encounter more hardware cloth. Now, a couple of years ago, I had deer netting as the roof and the possums, after two years of having chickens, the possums figured out that they could tear open the deer netting and get in there and eat my chickens. And so they took three of them and I sent the rest to go live with my wife's cousin where they free range and apparently free ranging gives them more chance to escape. I don't know. So, only problem is they, they find eggs all over their yard. And the purpose of having my chickens is to have eggs to, to eat. And so, I need to know where they're laying the eggs. But yeah, just a little, little look behind the curtain at the old Florida Melton homestead. So, once again, hey Pepper, I hear you, I'm coming. Oh, I need to lock that door so the dog don't push his way out because the Boston is smart like that and he'll figure out that he can push the door open and he'll be gone. Running up the road, getting run over. Yes, Pepper. That's my Pepper. Pepper, Pepper. I know, she's a talkie cat. Anyway, once again, love you. See you next time.